<laughs> okay, this has been a fun day. So I am retracing my steps and refilming this because the uh, the video I took earlier, my lapel mic didn't record any sound. So that was me taking this basically this same walk as I did earlier this morning, but uh, with no sound. So uh, that wouldn't have been a very fun video. So anyway, so what we are now doing is uh, headed over to the lab. I'm going to show you what I did earlier, taking my green meter and my cable. And uh, we're going to find a port for a new device that they want to use. Um, I'm going to take one earphone out so I can hear myself talk. Hopefully that uh, isn't going to mess up my sound. Um, they have a device that they want to plug in that's going to um, light up and play an alarm whenever a certain test is done. Well, and they do some kind of blood test that's time critical. So uh, once they know that it's done, then they can go in there and send the results to wherever they need to send them and not, you know, wait to go check on it later. It's a signaling tower. And it's connected over the network. And the uh, testing instrument, it's all automated. It just sends a... Uh, sends a... Uh, some sort of signal to that and then it lights up and makes a lot of noise and there's the local dog that the groundskeepers have uh hello puppy have adopted he's kind of a stray but they're feeding him taking care of him so anyway i'm gonna go back in the lab here and uh see what we can see basically film exactly what i filmed earlier So let's get in there. Sorry, this this is not very interesting content because I'm just walking. We basically walked from our cafeteria to the lab building. Sorry for the poor cinematography. So let's head back over here. Hello again, normal. Same guy was walking past me this morning. So, all right, let's double check this. Set you down right there for the moment. I'll be back, I swear. All right. Plug this into this port here. I'm gonna plug this into my meter. Turn the meter on, and as I said this morning, let's see if we get lucky. So, that is the port right there that we're trying to connect up. And, as you can see, we got some uh, flashing green lights, which is a good sign. And now we're going to see, see it's connected to a switch, and let's see what port it's on. I already know. This is how long you have to wait for the results on this. It uses LLDP. Oh, there, it even came with the VLAN this time. So, tells me what switch, what port, and what VLAN we're going to be using. So, cool little device. Um, so, there. So, what I did earlier is I wrote down the switch number and the port number, and then I went, check this off. Went back to my desk and uh, set up the port, put it up, made sure it was on the right VLAN. It already was. And um, they got uh, some sort of contest going on, lots of painted rocks with, uh, let's see, we got a biohazard, we got people with microscopes, we got Friendly people with lab coats over there. Uh, let's see what else we got. I guess it's some sort of uh, lab celebration contest sort of thing. All right, let's get out of here and uh, go over to the closet.
Hey, welcome. Right, call right around the corner here. So the uh, poor photography, once again. Is this on? Okay. So as I said, I already found out which switch and which port it's on. This is our lab switch. Also not our cleanest switch, but yeah, what are we going to do? There's some other exciting things going on in here. Um, that's our current fiber terminations here into the lab up there. This box right below it, it's hard to do when you're looking back, not looking at your finger. Um, that's where some new fiber is going in. It's going to be kind of cool. There's uh, his fiber termination cart. So they're bringing, uh, this is OM4 fiber right here. It's been there quite a while. Uh, this is going to be single mode fiber. So he's bringing that in. Once he brings that in, we're probably going to switch over to that because it's quite a distance from here to the other side of that building, which is where the main hospital is. Actually, we'll just come out here and I'll show you. Lights out. So that brown building on the other side of that, and down below, that's that's where those fibers run to. That's kind of a long way. So, so some things happened after I did this this morning. Um, we did a power test today, so I went to check on that and found um, that two switches had gone down this morning. So I just uh, went and checked the batteries. Um, what type of batteries those UPSs would need because I just assumed that was the problem was a bad battery So I'm gonna be ordering up some batteries for those UPSs and uh, Then I got some work sprung on me um, One of the guys from downtown Calls and says hey, we need to uh, that work. We were gonna do tonight. We need to reschedule it What work So apparently we had work to do tonight I didn't know. Um, actually, I did. I thought it had been rescheduled. But he said, no, it's different work. Go. Okay, great. So anyway, we uh, I spent two hours after I did this trying to figure out the, uh, the routing changes I would need to make and in how many switches. So got to make a routing change in the firewall, in four core switches, and in two WAN switches and uh, hopefully that's all. I hope I found it all. I mean our routing situation here is a mess right now. Uh, Extreme's going to come back in and clean it up for us a little bit and put all of our routes in one place not just uh, you know four core switches and two WAN switches which the route could be in any one of those places so um, yeah not real thrilled with that but we'll figure it out. Yeah, that's what we do. We figure things out. Um, yeah, they're going to um, put all the routes on either core switch one or core switch three, because one's in uh, my data center, the other one's in the MDF, and that's where all the routes will live, one of those two core switches. Every other switch in the enterprise will be a layer two switch, except for the firewall. So that'll make things a little easier as far as routing goes. And uh, so the two core switches will just, all those layer threes that live there will all be VRRP. So if you lose one, you still got routes to the other. So, and I was trying to think of what other crazy things happened in me, between me trying to do some work. And I think that's about it. So, um, yeah, so that's all. That's all we got. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, click, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. And we'll catch you all later. God bless.